Hey, in this episode, I'm back with the Mahindra tractor here. Um, I over tightened the oil reservoir drain plug for the transmission fluid in the rear axle. And uh, I am uh, hopefully going to fix it today. So that's what this episode's all about. Wish me luck and stay with us. Hi, this is Tim and Dole. Welcome to Midwest Hunting and Outdoors by Two Dumbasses, a podcast about the outdoors, hunting, and being a steward of the land. Hey, if you like what these two dumbasses are doing, please hit the like button and subscribe today. All right, thanks for joining us. Uh, little backstory on this: I, uh, I'm back on the Emax Mahindra 20. Um, this is kind of my mowing tractor. It does come with a loader, etc. There's, uh, uh, I've done some work on this in the past in a couple episodes. So see the link up above um, for some past episodes on the Mahindra. But um, in this episode, I need to permanently put a fix in place for a stripped uh, drain plug. This this technique would really work the same for a. Uh, oil oil reservoir uh, drain plug, but in this case, this is for the transmission or the hydrostatic uh, trans oil in the rear axle, in the bottom of the rear axle. So I stripped it out, over tightened it, my fault, it's aluminum casing and a steel bolt. A neighbor came over, looked at it, we were going to tap it, but his taps weren't 100% and they were too long and we didn't, couldn't get the tractor up high enough to uh, to get the tap in there and do it right. So uh, we ended up putting some Teflon uh, tape around the nut and it, it wasn't 100% stripped. Um, thought it was going to work and it did work for um, about two weeks, three weeks, a couple mowings and uh, now it started leaking again. So I uh, have drained out all the, the oil. You can see that in the video that I will include. And uh, today I bought a kit from Amazon and uh, we're going to give it a go. So let's get to the kit. We'll do an unboxing on that and then uh, we'll get into the tapping. Okay, here's the original uh, plug. It is a 14 millimeter steel plug with a little gasket on it. And what I'm going to attempt to do is uh, um, make it into a 15 millimeter plug. So take that 14 millimeter plug, tap it to a 15 millimeter. Uh, sized hole and uh, put a new plug in it. I purchased this from uh, Amazon. I think it was about $25. I'll include the information in the video. Uh, but it comes with four different tap size. I think 13, 15, and then two larger sizes. I'm really, I bought it for the 15 and then for each size you've got uh, five plugs. So. I really like the idea that uh, you know I might need this in the future for something else. I'm always seems like I'm always looking for uh, taps. I don't have a tap set or anything like that. So um, again, fairly inex very inexpensive for what you get, um, but we'll see if it works. So all right, this drain plug, um, as I stated, is located directly under the the rear axle. Um, step one here is to drain out all of the uh, fluid out of this. It's about three and a half gallons for the Emax 20. So I've done that. I'm going to kind of clean up and make uh, some area and then uh, we're going to try tapping this.
this is a conclusion to the episode here. Let me just kind of wrap it up. Um, hopefully I got some good footage. It was just really super tight and dark underneath there. So I apologize for that footage. Um, and, and I want to set the story straight here. I think earlier I had said that I had a 14 millimeter oil plug and I was going to bore it out to a 15 millimeter uh, plug and put in there. And uh, what I found out, and that's what I thought I had, but what I found out when I got in there um, and tried to do that, it, uh, it, it, was, it must have been a 15 or a 16 millimeter. Um, it, because I had to use the 17 millimeter tap to tap it out. But uh, once I went to the 17 millimeter, it bit in there really good and uh, really carved out some nice new threads in there. And then the nice thing with this kit is it again comes with four different sizes and then five different plugs for each different size. So I'm really thankful I went with this kit versus just a single tap and a single plug because again I was under the impression that this was a 14 and I was going to oversize it to a 15 millimeter and I would have had to start all over again and uh, this has been a frustrating journey to begin with so uh, but everything's sealed up I'm at the proper level um, I hope I can put this chapter of this Mahindra behind me and I hope it helped you folks. Again, I will put this information in the, the video at the beginning and um, at this stage so you can, if you're interested in this, please, if you have any questions or comments, um, include them at the bottom here. Uh, really appreciate the audience watching the, the, our episodes and shows. Hit the like button. Hit the uh, subscribe button. We really um, appreciate our subscribers and hearing from our audience. So until next time, be safe. Have fun and get outdoors. Thanks for listening or watching our show. We have some exciting topics and guests coming up. We ask that you subscribe to our channel on YouTube and follow us on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. We look forward to hearing your suggestions for topics, questions, and comments. This is Two Dumbasses signing off. Until next time, be, be safe, safe, have, have fun, fun, and, and get, get outdoors. outdoors.